There is a natural connection between particle physics and representation theory, as first noted in the 1930s by Eugene Wigner. It links the properties of elementary particles to the structure of Lie groups and Lie algebras. According to this connection, the different quantum states of an elementary particle give rise to an irreducible representation of the Poincaré group. Moreover, the properties of the various particles, including their spectra, can be related to representations of Lie algebras, corresponding to approximate symmetries of the universe. Topic: General picture. Topic: Symmetries of a quantum system. In quantum mechanics, any particular one-particle state is represented as a vector in a Hilbert space. H. Display style H. To help understand what types of particles can exist, it is important to classify the possibilities for H allowed by symmetries, and their properties. In a relativistic quantum system, for example, G might be the Poincaré group, while for the hydrogen atom, G display style G might be the rotation group. So three, the particle state is more precisely characterized by the associated projective Hilbert space P H display style mathrm P mathcal H also called ray space, since two vectors that differ by a non-zero scalar factor correspond to the same physical quantum state represented by a ray in Hilbert space, which is an equivalence class in H and, under the natural projection map H P H Display style math call H right arrow mathrm P math call H an element of P H display style mathrm P math call H let H display style math call H be a Hilbert space describing a particular quantum system and let G display style G be a group of symmetries of the quantum system by definition of a symmetry of a quantum system there is a group action on P H display style mathrm P math call H for each G element of G Display style G in G. There is a corresponding transformation V G. Display style V G of P H. Display style mathrm P math call H. More specifically, if G. Display style G is some symmetry of the system say rotation about the x axis by 12 degrees then the corresponding transformation v g display style v g of p h display style mathrm p math call h is a map on ray space for example, when rotating a stationary zero momentum spin 5 particle about its center, g display style g 
is a rotation in 3D space, an element of S O 3 display style mathrm so 3 while v g display style v g is an operator whose domain and range are each the space of possible quantum states of this particle in this example the projective space p h display style mathrm p mathcal h associated with an 11 dimensional complex hilbert space h display style mathcal h each map v g display style v g preserves by definition of symmetry the ray product on p h display style mathrm p mathcal h induced by the inner product on h display style mathcal h according to wigner's theorem this transformation of p h display style mathrm p mathcal h comes from a unitary or anti-unitary transformation U G display style U G of H display style mathcal H. Note, however, that the U G display style U G associated to a given V G display style v g is not unique but only unique up to a phase factor the composition of the operators u g display style u g should therefore reflect the composition law in g display style g but only up to a phase factor U G H equals E I theta U G U H display style U G H equals E carrot I theta U G U H where theta display style theta will depend on g display style g and h display style h thus the map sending g display style g to u g display style u g is a projective unitary representation of g display style g or possibly a mixture of unitary and anti-unitary if g display style g is disconnected in practice anti-unitary operators are always associated with time reversal symmetry topic ordinary versus projective representations it is important physically that in general u display style u c d o t does not have to be an ordinary representation of g display style g it may not be possible to choose the phase factors in the definition of u g display style u g to eliminate the phase factors in their composition law 
An electron, for example, is a spin one-half particle, its Hilbert space consists of wave functions on R 3 Display style math bound R carrot three with values in a two dimensional spinner space. The action of S O three Display style mathrum so three on the spinner space is only projective, it does not come from an ordinary representation of S. O three display style mathrum so three. There is, however, an associated ordinary representation of the universal cover S U two display style mathrum su two of S O three. Display style mathrum so three on spinner space. For many interesting classes of groups, G display style G. Bargman's theorem tells us that every projective unitary representation of G display style G comes from an ordinary representation of the universal cover g tilde display style tilde g of g display style g actually if h display style math call h is finite dimensional then regardless of the group G display style G every projective unitary representation of G display style G comes from an ordinary unitary representation of G tilde display style tilde G if H display style math call H is infinite dimensional then to obtain the desired conclusion some algebraic assumptions must be made on g display style g see below in this setting the result is a theorem of bargman fortunately the crucial case of the poincare group bargman's theorem applies see wigner's classification of the representations of the universal cover of the poincare group the requirement referred to above is that the lie algebra g display style math frac g does not admit a non-trivial one-dimensional central extension this is the case if and only if the second cohomology group of G display style math frac G is trivial. In this case, it may still be true that the group admits a central extension by a discrete group. But extensions of G display style G by a discrete group are nothing but a covers of G display style G for instance the universal cover G tilde display style tilde G is related to G display style G through the quotient G approximately equals g tilde gamma display style g approx tilde g gamma with the central subgroup gamma display style gamma being the center of g tilde display style tilde g 
itself, isomorphic to the fundamental group of the covered group. Thus, in favorable cases, the quantum system will carry a unitary representation of the universal cover G tilde G are the symmetry group G display style G this is desirable because H display style math call H is much easier to work with than the non vector space P H display style mathrm P math call H if the representations of G tilde display style tilde G can be classified much more information about the possibilities and properties of H display style math call H are available topic the Heisenberg case An example in which Bargmann's theorem does not apply comes from a quantum particle moving in R n display style mathbound R caret n the group of translational symmetries of the associated phase space R 2 n display style mathbound R caret 2 n is the commutative group R two n display style math bound R caret two n in the usual quantum mechanical picture the R two n display style math bound R caret two n Symmetry is not implemented by a unitary representation of R two n display style math bound R caret two n. After all, in the quantum setting, translations in position space and translations in momentum space do not commute. This failure to commute reflects the failure of the position and momentum operators which are the infinitesimal generators of translations in momentum space and position space, respectively to commute. Nevertheless, translations in position space and translations in momentum space do commute up to a phase factor. Thus, we have a well defined projective representation of R two N display style math bound R carrot two N, but it does not come from an ordinary representation of R two N display style math bound R carrot two N, even though R two N Display style math bound R carrot two N is simply connected. In this case, to obtain an ordinary representation, one has to pass to the Heisenberg group, which is a non-trivial one-dimensional central extension of R two N Display style math bound R carrot two N topic Poincaré group The group of translations and Lorentz transformations form the Poincaré group and this group should be a symmetry of a relativistic quantum system neglecting general relativity effects or in other words in flat space 
Representations of the Poincare group are in many cases characterized by a non-negative mass and a half-integer spin. See Wigner's classification. This can be thought of as the reason that particles have quantized spin. Note that there are in fact other possible representations, such as tachyons, infraparticles, etc., which in some cases do not have quantized spin or fixed mass. topic other symmetries While the spacetime symmetries in the Poincaré group are particularly easy to visualize and believe, there are also other types of symmetries called internal symmetries. One example is color SU3, an exact symmetry corresponding to the continuous interchange of the three quark colors. Topic: Lie algebras versus Lie groups. Many, but not all, symmetries or approximate symmetries form Lie groups. Rather than study the representation theory of these Lie groups, it is often preferable to study the closely related representation theory of the corresponding Lie algebras, which are usually simpler to compute. Now, representations of the Lie algebra correspond to representations of the universal cover of the original group. In the finite dimensional case and the infinite dimensional case, provided that Bargmann's theorem applies irreducible projective representations of the original group correspond to ordinary unitary representations of the universal cover. In those cases, computing at the Lie algebra level is appropriate. This is the case, notably, for studying the irreducible projective representations of the rotation group SO These are in one-to-one -one correspondence with the ordinary representations of the universal cover SU of SO the representations of the SU are then in one-to-one -one correspondence with the representations of its Lie algebra SU which is isomorphic to the Lie algebra SO of SO Thus, to summarize, the irreducible projective representations of SO are in one-to-one -one correspondence with the irreducible ordinary representations of its Lie algebra SO the two-dimensional spin one -half representation of the Lie algebra SO for example, does not correspond to an ordinary single -valued representation of the group SO .This fact is the origin of statements to the effect that if you rotate the wave function of an electron by 360 degrees, you get the negative of the original wave function. Nevertheless, the spin one-half representation does give rise to a well-defined projective representation of SO which is all that is required physically. Approximate symmetries Although the above symmetries are believed to be exact, other symmetries are only approximate. Topic: Hypothetical example. As an example of what an approximate symmetry means, suppose an experimentalist lived inside an infinite ferromagnet with magnetization in some particular direction. The experimentalist in this situation would find not one but two distinct types of electrons, one with spin along the direction of the magnetization, with a slightly lower energy and consequently, a lower mass, and one with spin anti-aligned, with a higher mass. 
our usual so three rotational symmetry, which ordinarily connects the spin up electron with the spin down electron, has in this hypothetical case become only an approximate symmetry, relating different types of particles to each other. General definition In general, an approximate symmetry arises when there are very strong interactions that obey that symmetry, along with weaker interactions that do not. In the electron example above, the two types of electrons behave identically under the strong and weak forces, but differently under the electromagnetic force. Topic Example Isosfan symmetry. An example from the real world is isosfan symmetry and SU2 group corresponding to the similarity between up quarks and down quarks. This is an approximate symmetry, while up and down quarks are identical in how they interact under the strong force, they have different masses and different electroweak interactions. Mathematically, there is an abstract two-dimensional vector space up quark 1 0 down quark 0 1 Display style text up quark right arrow begin p matrix one zero end p matrix q quad text down quark right arrow begin p matrix zero one end p matrix and the laws of physics are approximately invariant under applying a determinant one unitary transformation to this space x y a X Y where A is in S U two Display style begin P matrix X Y end P matrix Mapsto A begin P matrix X Y end P matrix quad text where a text is in SU two for example a equals 0 1 minus 1 o display style a equals begin p matrix 0 and 1 minus 1 and 0 end p matrix would turn all up quarks in the universe into down quarks and vice versa some examples help clarify the possible effects of these transformations. When these unitary transformations are applied to a proton, it can be transformed into a neutron, or into a superposition of a proton and neutron, but not into any other particles. Therefore, the transformations move the proton around a two dimensional space of quantum states. The proton and neutron are called an isosfan doublet, mathematically analogous to how a spin minus one half particle behaves under ordinary rotation. When these unitary transformations are applied to any of the three pions π0, π+, and π-, it can change any of the pioneers into any other, but not into any non-pion particle. Therefore, the transformations move the pions around a three-dimensional space of quantum states. The pions are called an isosfan triplet, mathematically analogous to how a spin one particle behaves under ordinary rotation. These transformations have no effect at all on an electron, because it contains neither up nor down quarks. 
The electron is called an isosfan singlet, mathematically analogous to how a spin zero particle behaves under ordinary rotation. In general, particles form isosfan multiplets, which correspond to irreducible representations of the Lie algebra SU. Particles in an isosfan multiplet have very similar but not identical masses, because the up and down quarks are very similar but not identical. Topic Example Flavor symmetry Isosfan symmetry can be generalized to flavor symmetry, and SU group corresponding to the similarity between up quarks, down quarks, and strange quarks. This is, again, an approximate symmetry, violated by quark mass differences and electroweak interactions. In fact, it is a poorer approximation than isosfan, because of the strange quark's noticeably higher mass. Nevertheless, particles can indeed be neatly divided into groups that form irreducible representations of the Lie algebra SU as first noted by Murray Gell-Mann and independently by Yuval Neiman. Topic. See also Charge physics Representation theory Of Lie algebras Of Lie groups Projective representation Special unitary group Notes <laughs>